Meanwhile, the head of the Russian state Duma, Vyacheslav Volodin, says the U.S. has always used the International Criminal Court as a hand tool to achieve its goals. He claims when investigations were carried out against countries in the Middle East, Africa and Asia that Washington disliked, the U.S. supported these decisions, moreover often initiated them. Recalling that the ICC is seeking arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Defense Minister Yuhav Gallant, as well as three Hamas leaders, Mr. Volodin said the U.S. rushed to defend the Israeli officials. He also adds that Russian President Vladimir Putin had repeatedly spoken about the issue, pointing out that the U.S. promotes a world order not based on international law. Away from that, now Israel Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has led prayers, led prayers in Iran's capital, Tehran, in funeral ceremonies for the late President Ibrahim Raisi and others killed in a helicopter crash. The funeral saw a large crowd gather to pay final respects to the late president. The death of the conservative leader and other high-ranking officials comes at a delicate time for Iran as a country facing unprecedented challenges at home and from abroad. Nine people died in the helicopter crash on Sunday, including Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian, Imam Muhammad Ali Ali Hashem, Governor Malek Rahmati, alongside two pilots, a chief crew and two security staff. The Iranian government is investigating what caused the crash on a remote mountainside. Ibrahim Rice's death has raised questions about who will eventually succeed Iran's 85-year-old supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, the most powerful man in the country. In the meantime, the government of Iran 